Hello class, this is Professor Jane Williams, College of San Mateo, Sociology 100. I want to talk to you a little bit about Chapter 4. Chapter 4 talks to us a lot about socialization. Here it is in a nutshell. What they're trying to talk to us about is learning how to behave in society. That's basically it. Learning how to behave in society. We behave differently in different areas of society and we're taught how to do this. We're taught by mostly our family and the people around us day to day. We don't have laws that cover absolutely every single aspect of society. It may feel like we do sometimes, but the vast majority, way more than 90% of it, is actually things that we have kind of agreed to in society. We just agree that this is the way we'll behave as students in a classroom. This is the way we'll behave at birthday parties or in someone's house when they invite you over. This particular gesture or these particular words indicate respect or indicate gratitude. We learn these things and they're called socialization. We socialize differently for different aspects. Our job, socialize differently for that. Um, Behaving in our parents' home, socialized differently for that, on and on. Now, how do the people who are socializing us learn how to do it? Someone socialized them. So, and they taught them, they taught them. And so they actually retaught us, and we will reteach our own children. And you might say to yourself, well, if we're handing down all this information from one person or one group of people to the next, to the next, could we make a mistake or could things get a little distorted? And the answer to that would be yes, it can. And when it does, things can go pretty wrong for a society and can go wrong for a very long time. Generations, actually. For the most part, socialization is good. It's actually great. Society couldn't operate without it. We all start living together, we just come to these agreements, we carry on in certain ways, and th everything is easier. But if we're off, and sometimes just a little bit off, we can make certain s segments of our society miserable. We can keep them from attaining, achieving. We can even kill them, annihilate them, because, in our minds, they are not behaving correctly. They're not behaving in the way that we ourselves were socialized to behave. We actually, you'll hear them talk about this on chapter 4, we actually believe that if people are not from a two-family household, then they are not socialized correctly. And so therefore when we meet them, maybe we should treat them differently. Maybe not as fair. Maybe we should judge them prematurely. As you go through chapter 4, think about these things and think about not only accepting or not accepting sometimes, the socialization is given to you, but also keeping your own eyes and your own mind open to examine that socialization and see to it if it's really what you want and what you believe in and what you think is best for yourself and for children, if you have any, or the people around you whom you'll be socializing.